Did you know that 94% of first impressions of a brand's websites relate to its design? 94%. It's not a small number, you know. And these impressions are what brings revenue to the companies. And more than that, the brand's design sometimes becomes so recognizable that it becomes a genre in itself. For example, uh, check out this website, linear.app. You will see many other websites that look like copies of this one. Or if you talk about iconic logos, we all know Nike swoosh has become synonymous with athletic excellence and how instantly we can recognize it. Similarly, with its distinctive font and familiar red color, Coca-Cola has emerged as one of the most recognizable brands in the world. These are just a few examples of power of good design. When done right, design can transform business, grab attention, and ultimately drive revenue. Brands out there know that, and that's why they are in constant search for designers who can create engaging designs for their brand. The money is good, but to get that, you need the skills. Now, you might say, but Sapta, I'm low on budget. I can't afford those expensive courses. Or someone might say, I can learn design from YouTube, but my recruiter asks for a course certificate. Those are some legit questions. And as an answer to this question, I have created this video where I'm going to tell you not one, not two, but five free design courses. And yes, they come with a certificate too. So if it sounds interesting to you, let's start the video with our first design course. The course is UI UX for Beginners by Great Learning Academy. Here you will learn the basic of UI UX philosophy wireframing, prototyping, user testing, and much more. Here's a course outline where in the first module, you start with a brief introduction of UI UX and then proceed to understand the differences between them. Next, you learn about UX and its process in detail where the overall process involved in UX is discussed with relevant examples of websites. After this, you will get to wireframing and prototyping tutorials as well. And in the last module, you will get the list of best UI design tools that can be used for a better understanding of the looks of the website. It will take you approximately one and a half hours to complete this free UI UX design course along with its assessment. But you can also continue at your own pace and finish it in three to four days as it's a flexible course. Apart from that, you also get free lifetime access to the content, which means you're allowed to revisit the course anytime the need arises. All right, the second design course on our list is Digital Skills User Experience by Accenture. Accenture is a global professional services company that has created this course for you hosting it on the Future Learn platform. The course discovers the fundamental fundamentals of UX, the basics of visual design, and the tools you need to become a UX designer. The duration of this course is three weeks, where you are expected to study at least two hours a day, and I think that's doable. At every step of the course, you can meet other learners, share your ideas, and join in with active discussions in the comments. More than 1.8 lakhs people have already joined this course, and you can do the same, as there is no requirement for any previous design experience or qualification. Our third design course is Logo Design Techniques, which is hosted on LinkedIn Learning. Now, I don't need to tell you how important a logo is to a company or a brand. A visitor on a website spends at an average of five to six seconds focusing only on the company's logo. What I mean to say is logos are a critical part of modern design world and to learn how to create your own logo, it is important to be able to identify the components and design techniques behind most of the successful examples from the Nike swoosh to the Coca-Cola ribbon. This LinkedIn course teaches you exactly the same. Here you will learn to design logos with simple shapes and advanced techniques and later you will also learn about logo effects, logo colors, and how can you finalize a logo on your own. The course duration is four and a half hours. And let me tell you, it's not a free like the other courses we discussed earlier. To access this course, you need to buy it. But what you can do once you are on this course page is you can click on this, start my free month to get this course for free of cost. That's a trial essentially. All right, fourth on our list is a graphic design course by EduCBA. This course includes a comprehensive online Photoshop course with two plus hours of video tutorials and lifetime access. Actually, this course is not an overview of the software, but it's actually an intensive training into understanding all the key features of Photoshop and its tools. The graphic design course is mainly divided into two sections under the heading of introduction and tools. The first section introduces you to the Photoshop software and teaches you its basic user interface. And the second and the final section teaches you about all the Photoshop tools like the move tool, clone, stamp, and different sections of the tools. Even if you're not a graphic designer, I still suggest you should learn Photoshop because it can be regarded as the mother design tool. Once you know how to use Photoshop, you'll find relatable techniques in every other design tool, which will in turn help you
you pick up newer tools much easily. For example, the pen tool, masks and shapes were all first introduced in Photoshop and then they were carried on to other tools like After Effects and Premiere Pro and also modern interface design tools like Figma. Our fifth and the last design course is the power of infographics by the Open University. In this course, you will explore when and how infographics can be useful to your work. You look at some good and bad practices in making and using infographics and you will learn how to evaluate infographics in day-to-day -day life as well. The course starts with an introduction and as you move ahead, you learn many things like data visualizations and how can you critically evaluate the quality of infographics. The course concludes by introducing some free resources that you can help to produce effective infographics of your own. And at the end of the course, there's a quiz which you can take to check your design knowledge there. The course is for intermediate learners and can take you up to seven hours to finish completely. And there you have five free design courses with certificates that you can check out to learn designing. I'll link down the courses in the description, but now hear me out. The courses I've talked about will definitely provide you with the foundation skills and knowledge to begin your design career. But it's important to remember that it's not just about finishing a course to get the certificate. If there is any true value in these courses, it's the opportunity they provide to develop your practical skills and build a portfolio that showcases your abilities to potential employers. So don't just take these courses to get a certificate. Take them to learn, to grow and to challenge yourself. A certificate without concrete knowledge is just a piece of paper with no value at all. If you're looking for an in-detail and step-by-step -step UX design roadmap, then don't forget to check out this video of mine. And if you are interested in my design journey, you can have a look at this video where I have talked about how I got a high paying UX design job. All right, folks, that's all for today. By the way, in this video, we have talked about five design courses. Which one are you going to get enrolled in? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more such insightful content. This is Sapta signing off.